Hi everybody, um, it's, it's me, it's Warren, minister at Greenford Baptist Church, uh, to all the members of the church and friends of the church. Hi, um, I'm still finding this a bit weird initially to record in silence on my own as such effectively, um, uh, not having a congregation to talk to. Um, I'm today, uh, it's Friday, um, I think it's the 20th. Yes, yeah, Friday the 20th, you know, I'm, I'm going to be me, so hey, it's going to, it's all going to go a bit wrong occasionally. Um, but we're in the, uh, I'm in the prayer tower at the moment at the church while we can still come here uh, in the midst of all of this, um, in this incredibly strange time. Um, and, and that's an understatement to say the least, and I'm not decrying the fact that there are people around the world who are incredibly ill. There are people who um, clearly have uh, died of of this uh, this disease, but I suppose this for me this is hopefully going to be published by this Sunday uh, on the twenty second, and been spending time uh, with the Lord. I've actually also been here uh, with Elizabeth Robertson, but we've been spending time with the Lord, and I suppose it's coming out of some of that that uh, this talk is going to be about. So um, bear with me, I find it weird, I can't actually move around, and you know me, I like to, to walk around a lot, but uh, uh, yeah. So what's for me? Well, this week so far, um, over time I've bumped into uh, uh, local people in the community, not literally touched them, um, but I've uh, um, come across people who know me, and they've been wanting to talk about this and what's been going on. And constantly, each time for me, uh, the verse from Philippians chapter 1 verse 21 has just just forever been the kick around. Uh, for me to live is Christ, to die is gain, I believe the, the NIV uses it. And funny enough, it was one of those early ones that when I was a Christian, I sort of, yeah, 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 for me to live is Christ, die is gain, I don't care what happens to me, I know where are my heavenly places. And strange as you get older and you settle down that becomes less and less of your um of my cry but actually it's become i recognize for me uh in this time um and for other people who don't know jesus yet it's become a you really mean that don't you it's like yeah i mean i don't want to die but look as paul was trying to get out for him living for jesus was the right thing to do. He'd rather be at home with God, but he knew he had to be here for the church. He had to remain for the Philippians. And I suppose for us as Christians, for me, for us, it's better for us to be here for people that don't know Jesus yet, to be shown his love. We shouldn't be fearful, though, if we do die, because to die is to gain, literally, Jesus in all his fullness we can we can get that if we can pick that up at all that to actually get Jesus uh, we shouldn't be running fearful now I am not saying start running out in the streets and and and, and stop um, breaking the government guidelines hear me very 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 carefully please but it's more about our attitude, our internal attitude at the moment. Are we, are we spending time with God or are we focusing on the fear that is going on out in the streets? Are, are you listening to the news and taking up, I would suggest, and then taking on board fear or and you listening to your neighbours who are more distressed, or are you actually listening to what God is saying to you? Are you having the motto that he's saying, actually, Lord, whatever happens, I gain you in everything. Whether I be here on earth or whether I die, I'm gaining you. So therefore then my attitude needs to be changing the atmosphere that's around me and around my family, around my friends, around my neighbours. Currently, while we're still, some of us allowed to go to work, around our work colleagues is the am I changing the is, is is my focus on Christ or is it on the virus I said in my first talk if you you heard it was 
I believe if you've got to self-isolate or find yourself in isolation, now is a good time to actually see that as encountering Jesus. Don't see it as something awful, but encounter the Lord at this time. Fix your thoughts on him. Whilst in this prayer, prayer tale, we were uh, looking at, um, bizarrely enough, Isaiah chapter 26. I'm not going to take the full credit of getting uh, that chapter. That, that, but, um, but it was in that discussion, we picked up on this and thought, oh, what is this? So I'm just going to read uh, the first few verses, if that's all right. Um, uh, it's uh, chapter 26. It says, in that day, everyone... In, sorry, so chap Isaiah... Chapter 26, verse 1. In that day, everyone in the land of Judah will sing this song. Our city is strong. We are surrounded by the walls of God's salvation. Open the gates to all who are righteous. Allow the faithful to enter. You will keep in perfect peace all who trust in you. All whose thoughts are fixed on you. Trust in the Lord always. For the Lord God is the eternal rock. He, verse 3, you will keep in perfect peace all who trust in you, all whose thoughts are fixed on you. Now notice it's perfect peace. It does not mean trouble will not come our way. But if we keep our thoughts fixed on God our faults fixed in him. If we focus on him, spend time with him, allow him to spend time with us, then actually the, the, the fear factor, the, the worry will become considerably less. More peace will be upon us because we notice who really our assurance comes from. There's more in Isaiah there, but I'm not going to talk about it today. As you know, these video footages will be posted once every few days. Our focus must be fixed on him. I suppose for me it says don't get trapped in the mindset currently that the world is potentially getting trapped in. It says be transformed by, you know, do not conform to the pattern of this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. This is a time now for us to be renewed in our minds, for us not get trapped into the fear factor that is clearly happening around the world. I feel this is a dangerous thing to say because we all have different views as to why suddenly this, this virus is around. I, we live in a fallen, busted, broken world. And this was never, sickness was never part of God's original plan. And, 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 and as much as I don't believe for one moment God sent the sickness, God in his sovereignty does allow bad things to happen because out of it he can be good. Do wonder if, and we're noticing now that people are suddenly, their, 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 their foundation, especially in the West, is being rocked. We suddenly realise we don't have all instantly the medical cures for everything. This is a bit of a musings and ramblings here, but I, I'm sitting with the Lord and I do wonder if, well, God can use this time for people to turn to him. And I think first and foremost, he's probably calling his people to turn to him more than what we have done in the past. This is a time for us to turn to our Lord and to realise as his children at a, such a time as this, how loved we are by him. And then we can take that lover out, all sensibly, to others around. We can show the security that we have. Our security is not in what the world provides. Our security is in what our Lord provides, the security of his love. So I think primarily, I think God is wanting to talk to his people to say, come on, be with me. I've got stuff to show you. I've got stuff to say to you. I've got love to show to you. I've got stuff for my people of power to go out with eventually. But you need to receive it first. And this is the perfect time maybe to be receiving directly from the Father.
for all of us. Made me laugh this morning, and this is not having a go at Netflix, but I noticed that Netflix are now, um, to quote them, are reducing their streaming quality across Europe so as not to overload the internet. Because obviously what people are doing is, because if you've got a Scythe Isolate, you're spending time in front of the TV watching Netflix and all the other uh, streaming videos. I really felt God say, but I'm not reducing my streaming quality. People spend time with me, they will see it ramp up. It will become even more uh, HD. It will become God D, if you know what I mean. This is maybe a time for you to spend time with God rather than saturating yourself in front of the TV. I'm going to be doing both. I'm not going to one minute not say I'm not going to watch some TV series. But I'm not going to um, binge watch it. I'm going to do it in selective isolation. Maybe I can suggest to you spend quality time with God, real time with him. Not the quick two minute, I've just said the Lord's Prayer, thanks very much, that's me done. Sit with your father. He wants to download to you stuff. He wants to stream stuff into you that even you've never expected before. He wants to stream words to you. More than just comfort, he wants to stream power to you. He wants to stream the prophetic to you. He wants to stream, um, yeah, he just wants to stream the miraculous to you. Ready for when there is more than this virus going on. It's not just about the now, it's about the long term. But we need now to get that joy of the Lord, to get that wanting to be with him so that he can download into us the stuff that he wants us then to output. And when we output, it won't be done in um, um, standard vision, it will be done in HD. It will be done with the power of the Lord behind it. So this is a time now spend time with him i know i keep banging on about spending time but i feel like if you don't keep mentioning it we're going to just lose the whole point so i'm going to finish on this my prayer is for all of us starting this week we will spend quality time fixing our thoughts on jesus allowing him to fix our thoughts full stop allowing him to stream down to us the highest quality download so that eventually when we walk out we can upload his love and his power to those around us who do not know him yet. So spend time with him my brothers and sisters, be with him, our Father has promised to be with us. God bless to you.